3W kids, it's Ellie. Would you mind joining me for a quick word of prayer to start? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for allowing us to set aside this moment in time to hear from you, Father. And I pray that your words just ring true in this moment, Father, and we may be given a new outlook and a new perspective on the topic shared today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today I wanted to talk about sparking your creativity. But what does creativity mean? So creativity can be defined as the use of the imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic work or idea. So that means it's the creation of a thought, a creation of an artwork, and how you come up with that in your head, that idea that first starts. God has a lot of big ideas, so big, in fact, that his creativity started the whole world. If you turn with me to Genesis 1.1, the first words in the entire Bible are, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It's pretty powerful. That means that he created all of the animals, thousands and thousands of animals, plants, all the little creatures we see. Ginormous animals, like an elephant, tiny animals, like a mouse, the fast, animals like a cheetah and the slow ones like the sloth. He designed tall lodgepole pine trees and massive redwoods that are too big to climb or even too big to put your arms around. His hands carved the mountains and the rivers and they poured the whitewater rapids that just ring in your ears. Every time you eat tasty pancakes or a juicy burger, you're feasting on God's creativity. Did you know that? When God got around to creating people, though, he decided to make them with many of his own characteristics. So that means he designed you to be creative, too. When you think of how to build a fort in the woods or draw a picture of another planet or dream up a new version of your favorite game, that's because God's creativity is in you. So I challenge you today. Build, draw, write, design. Come up with something that reminds you of how beautiful God's creation is and how cool his creativity is. Sit down, maybe draw one of your favorite creations, such as a zebra, or like I said earlier, an elephant, or a butterfly, something simple, but just to see how creative you can be with your hands, your body, or your story, and even so much more, whatever you can put your mind to. God's creativity has no limits, and neither is yours. What ideas has he put in your head? Share with us. Share with your family. What has he given you that you feel you need to put down on paper? Write it. Draw it. Color it. Build it with blocks, Legos. Just use this as an opportunity to show how God has given you creativity, just like he has all the creativity in the world. So if you could bow your heads and close your eyes with me, we we're going to close in a quick word of prayer. I want to say, God, thank you for the creativity you've given us. I want to create cool things for you. Give me the thoughts, the ideas, the words to put down on paper, Father, that they may glorify you and your creativity. God, I look around and I thank you for your marvelous hand and the beautiful sunsets, the beautiful sunrises, the animals and the plants that I see on a daily basis that remind me of your glory, your mercy, your beauty, and your creativity. I thank you, God, for this moment again that we've been able to hear from you and are blessed to have seen and hear and thought of your creativity and your ideas, Father God. I thank you again, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, 3W kids. Hope you have a great day.